different video from previous ones because today I'm having a guest whose name is Firuza and she's a holder of scholarship at Bayern. So, hi Firuza, how are you doing today? I'm great. Um, I'm so happy to have you here as an interview, informal interview. Wow. We are actually friends and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> So uh, let's get back to the questions. I'm gonna ask a couple of questions from her and I hope that it will be interesting for those who are willing to enter any university with scholarship. So can you tell first of all about yourself to the audience who are watching? Um, Alright, shortly uh, you know what my name is already. So I like sleeping, I like eating, I hate reading books. She hates reading books but she has scholarship. That's interesting. How did you manage? How did you manage that? Well, it was really hard, but at the same time, really easy. Okay. So, um, can you tell about your strengths or the patience that you had during the times that you were encountering that hardships to get the scholarship that you're studying? Um, all right. So, first of all, uh, I had to pass IELTS. For that, I needed a big amount of concentration. What is important, you should never give up. Always do what you need to do. And then I had to work on my math program, so I work really hard and I put myself some aims. And one by one, I tried to do my best, and eventually I got what I wanted. That's so nice. Uh, and how was it the feeling when you got the latest um, message, a letter from the university? I felt like I was dreaming. I could not <laughs> believe myself like for the first three weeks. Eventually, I finally, I finally, you finally realized that I it wasn't realized. dream and it was real life, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's nice. And another question that I'm going to ask you is, can you tell about your weaknesses? Weakness. The biggest weakness that you have? Well, as I mentioned before, I hate reading books. That's why I can say that I'm not that really good. Also, um, most of the times I'm really lazy, so... What should they do? How should they study? And more tips for this? Um, I think that um, if they want to actually enroll and become a part of this uh, university, they should work hard. And it is not impossible. It's not that difficult at all. If they're gonna work, they're gonna do their homework. Uh, they're gonna. Is possible, so anything is possible. Yes, anything is possible. Yeah, anything just do it. Possible. Study, yeah, just go study. study. Just don't study. sit here on YouTube watching the channels, videos, but watch my vlogs. <laughs> yeah, talking about YouTube, there are a lot of um, interesting videos, like tutorials for basic math. So I think for students who are lazy to write a lot, they can just check out YouTube videos. And from English, they can just write more essays, read more books, and that's going to be more valuable. Okay. Thanks for having coming today. Uh, I'm so pleased and happy to have you. So yes. I appreciate you and thanks for this vlog and for your time. I hope that this video for, was useful for you guys and if you're interested um, to know more about Spirit's achievements or you want to get some tips and tricks, how to enter a scholarship. I'm uh, not going to give you any advice. <laughs> you are going to. <laughs> or I will give you. Just, go. <laughs> Just comment down below or Our second guest is Andromon. He is also a member of scholarship. 
uh, very different from other students, so I would like to have another interview with them. Uh, hi. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? Great. Great. Um, how is the weather like? Do you like it? It's snowing? great. Yeah, it's snowing after such a long time in Uzbekistan. That was a great pose for snow in our country. And like my childhood passed without snow, so it was yes. terrible. Like we couldn't manage to play in the snow. Wow. Right. For note, snow in Uzbekistan is very rare, and whenever it snows, we are so happy. And it feels so amazing. So my first question for you is, tell us about yourself. Well, as I, Saxana introduced me, I am from home. I am 18 years old. I studied Wired. I got a scholarship, and I'm very proud of this, just like Saxana. Thank you. And <laughs> that's it. Okay, so how was your expectations and reality after entering this university? How you imagined before the university and after life? Well, before university I was thinking that there is no study at YU, like teachers do not teach us at all. Okay. And my expectations were really another from the reality. Because before entering the university, I thought that there is no study, we don't have to come to the lessons. But in the reality, it came up like teachers are very hard and they push us to work hard, and that was really great because they really educate us. And I think even if you are studying for a con on a contract based, it worth it. paying certain million per year for such opportunities. For such education is worthy. So enter Ryan. Enter no. Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> yes, promotion. And uh, another question for you is how was your preparations? I mean, how did you prepare your, maybe your routine you can share with us? Yeah, for sure. Well, actually, uh, the preparation process was really hard because I knew that I'm going to enter the ride for scholarship. And that was really bad because whenever I have still was thinking about this, it made me trouble because the fact that I was nervous was always a me because I was ever thinking what if I will not get, what if I will not get this scholarship, what will be then, what am I going to do then? But alhamdulillah I got that. And Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'm uh, so happy to have you here in today's interview. And can you tell us about your life right now? I mean, you work, study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do both. Actually. How do you I manage it? And you have to get 70 plus. Yeah, I have to make it to that uh, price for scholarship. Yes. And I know that it is really hard to do it both actually because it's not only physically hard it's also emotionally hard because there's a pressure of you not getting that high mark and the pressure from the side of the work you have to provide the good quality of your service and I'm a teacher actually and yeah that's great I love my work I love my studies and the fact that I am doing both simultaneously is great and I really love it so, last but not least, your recommendations and advice for those who are going to well, attend I would suggest to just study. Don't idle around, don't waste your time playing computer games, because at the end of the day, these games are infinite. You will never stop playing them. And of course you can play them and waste your childhood instead of studying, but I think it's better if you study now and work uh, and play them while uh, you are studying at the uni because the university has got very few lessons and you will have plenty of your free time and I think there will be even more friends who you will play with and do your best to study. Thanks for your tips and tricks, I hope that it will be very useful and I wish you good luck in your future endeavors, may all your dreams come true and you will achieve this highest result all the time. Thanks for coming wish and, you best and too. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So goodbye everybody. Bye. See you. See ya. Thanks for
for watching the video and I hope that you like it. If you liked it, just don't forget to put likes, comment down below and subscribe to our channel because Zayn and Dayan is always with you guys. So that's it for today. Bye!